Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 12th episode of the RPG tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up the attack trace so that when we swing our weapon, it will hit our enemies. It took a little while to get this set up nicely because I noticed that when other clients are loaded, the trace is less. So I think this will work pretty nicely. I've been been able to find any problems with it this way, so no further ado, get into that. First thing we're going to want to do is open up our blueprints, go to our items, and then go to our holdables, and then our master holdable. And in here, we're going to create a new function. This function is going to be called melee trace. The reason we're putting it in here is because the only time we'll ever want a melee trace, for the moment at least, is when we're holding a melee weapon, or a, any weapon, anything that's a child of the master holdable. So anything that can be held, basically. So we're going to drag out from here and create a spare trace for objects. So we're going to use a spare trace for our detection. And we'll change this to 50, the radius. Um, for actors to ignore, we'll drag down, make array. And in here we'll ignore self, so it doesn't, so the trace doesn't hit the weapon it's attacked, it's tracing from. And object types, make an array. And we'll put pawn here for now. Okay, I'll just put that down over there like that. And Okay, from here we're going to want to get our holdable mesh. Get sockets location. Okay, the way this is going to work is we're going to have some sockets on the weapon mesh. So I'll set that up now quickly. We want to go to our meshes, static meshes, and whichever weapon we want. And in here in the static mesh we have a, a socket manager. I'm going to create socket, and we'll name this one top socket. And then we'll put that right up here, just above the tip of the sword. Create a second socket called bottom socket. And we'll put that one right there, just at the bottom of the sword. Save that. Now we can head back into here. Now for our start location, we're going to choose our bottom socket and for our end location get socket location move this out to get a little more room in there and this is going to be our end location simple as that so a trace so the sphere will trace from the top socket to the bottom socket now we want to set, I'll set that up on our other weapon, top socket. For the axe, it'll be a little bit different. Bottom socket. Just with the head of the axe, so that, that's good enough. You can adjust it, always adjust it later on to your own liking. So now that we have this set up, we will want to go into one of our attack animations. So for our animations, our montages, and I'll just do the light attacks first. And we want to create a new notify called start act trace. And a second notify 
end attack or yeah end attack traits or stop whatever doesn't matter which word you use as long as you know what it does then you want to find out where the sword should start tracing somewhere around here i guess I did that, and then you want to find where it stops tracing, somewhere around here, and you want to make sure your chain attack is after your trace, so like right here is the, where it ends and my chain attack will drop is after the trace. So that looks good for now. We'll, to our, we'll just select this and select this one by holding Control C or Control, sorry, and clicking on it, and then right click and copy. And we'll go to light slash two. Paste multiple relative, pause the animation. And we'll start the trace right here and we'll end the trace right here somewhere. And to the third one. Somewhere around here. Stop it right there. Save that. I'll quickly set up the heavies. Might as well do them now rather than save them till later. Right here somewhere. that you can also right click now that we have them created add new notify skeleton notifies is where they'll be start attack trees And attack trace. Save that. And the final one. And that should be it for this attack notifies. And now I want to go to our animation blueprint and go into our notify graph and we want to call start attack trace and end attack trace and when we start the attack trace we're going to I'm going to move this down a little more make some room Drag out from here. We're going to set timer by function name, which allows us to start a function and loop through it continuously. Get world delta, or however much, let you loop through it however much you set the time, whatever you set the timer to. This is, this sets it per tick. And then from here, you want to get your character reference. Your foldable reference. And plug the, that into there. So it gets the function from the foldable. And the function name is melee trace. And you want to set to looping. There's no initial delays. So. So 
start the melee trace function and loop it every tick. And this one right here will pause timer by function name. Function name is melee trace. And the object is the holdable reference, which is your holdable item you're being that's being held. So it gets the function from there and pauses it and clear timer. Now it's going to clear function so it so it doesn't like store anything when it when it goes to an eight re enable it again for example. And oh, this stop the melee trace function. And we'll comment this whole thing as melee trace. So that's that notify setup. So now it should, everything should run when we swing our weapons. And you can't see it because I didn't set the draw type for duration. And there's the trace. And we seem to be hitting something. If you look into that. And so it turns out that the uh, trace is hitting your character. So if you just add a pin here and plug your character reference in here, which is a reference to the your specific character, not every character, then it will not hit trace on you anymore. But it will trace on other people. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Yeah. In the next video we'll set up a an, an AI test and from there we'll set up damage and stuff like that. And I'll also show you how to hit other things in case you didn't want to just hit an AI. It'll trace for other things as well. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, leave it in the, the comment section below or send me a message on Discord. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.